Okay, now we now that we have our limited entry decision table, it's time to uh, clean it up. And by clean it up, I mean remove any logical uh, inconsistencies and any redundancies. Okay, first step to do when we're doing that is to actually copy, take a copy of the original and just paste it into the spreadsheet. So that way we have a copy of the original, we're not touching that and uh, we're gonna this is going to be our working copy until we're done okay first thing remember when we were actually reading through the criteria uh, we got that this column um, if they had NS degree uh, if they had NS if and a degree and programming they were assigned to grade two three but if they had NS and either or degree or programming they were assigned to grade two so since logically um, this column matched both, we put two X's. But from a re reality business perspective, um, you can only be assigned to one grade when you're hired. And um, because the grade three is only applied to the people who have NS and degree and programming, i.e. those who are the most qualified, we would assume that grade three is the higher grade that they would go to. So by using that logic and business knowledge, we can simply re remove this X, okay? So they get assigned to grade three. They don't get assigned to grade 2.5. We said they get assigned to three. And there's another column with two actions, and here it is. Using the same logic and the same um, knowledge or inference that we've used that grade three is the highest, grade two is the mid, and grade one is more the entry level. So now for this one, if they have uh, degree and programming experience, they're more qualified than somebody who has only a degree or only experience. So by that same reasoning, we would remove the grade one and, and um, assign them to grade two. Okay, so now no more logical inconsistencies or things that look weird. Now, uh, so now what we look at, we're gonna concentrate on is finding uh, if there's any redundancies. Uh, and by that, I mean, if there's any column where any two columns look at two at a time if you look at more than two it just gets too complicated just look at two at a time and to see if uh, there's any place where if you change just one variable or um, just one uh, condition that doesn't change the action okay so if we take a look here uh, we'll look at columns J See, no, 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 get rejected. But here, the other one that gets rejected, and when you're trying to, um, to, to, to simplify, you always look for the same, the same action because that's what you're trying to find. You're trying to find columns that have the same action that um, are independent of a condition. Okay, by independent of a condition, I mean that it doesn't matter what, the con what one condition is you'll get the same action ultimately okay so you want to look at r you, columns that have the same action so we, we see these two columns this is a good candidate actually the, these two are a good candidate these and these three actually are a good candidate because they all have the same action okay let's look at well we can look at these two first okay we, so this variable this condition um, stays the same but we have this condition is changing and this condition is changing. So, you know, um, I don't, I'd rather find one where it's just one condition that's changing. And we look at, look at this one, we got, uh, compare these two columns, then here there's one condition changing and another two condition changing, okay? And same here, this condition changes, this one two condition changing. And this one, this condition changes. This one is the same. This one condition changes. Again, two condition changes. So let's look at this column and this column. See here, okay, this condition changes. Oh, okay, this one doesn't, no degree. 
no degree, no programming, no programming. Aha. Uh -huh. See, it, column F, column J. We have that even if they have an S, they're rejected if they don't have a degree and don't have programming. In, in this column, we see that if they don't have an S and don't have a degree and don't have programming, they're even more so rejected. So here's a case where it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they have an S. If an S is yes, they're rejected. If an S is no, they're rejected. So it doesn't matter. And so that means we can actually combine these two columns into one. And that is part of the simplification process. And how we do that in, um, in while we're building or simplifying our decision table is we put a dash. We'll put a dash and we'll hit enter. And that me the dash means it doesn't matter if it's yes or no. It doesn't matter. We're do we don't consider that condition for this action. We just consider these two conditions. If these two conditions are no, they're rejected. We don't even have to consider the NS condition. And what we can do here is we can just delete the column okay. without any loss whatsoever in the logic because we still have the condition yes, no, no is rejected, no, no, no is rejected. The dash is a placeholder for yes or no. You could, you could write this y slash n it would logically mean the same thing, but in the, um, the way we do decision table, the way we represent that is with a dash. Okay, So now we've simplified, we've removed some logical inconsistencies of multiple grades per um, meeting uh, the same condition. And we've also removed one where um, we, we've simplified it by combining two columns where it made sense to combine. And um, so if we look, if we look, let's say, okay, let's see if we can do another one. It's tempting to, to look at this and say, well, you know what, this column and this column, that's the same action. And see, all I need is, as long as I have one yes, then I get the same action. Uh, yeah, the only thing, it's kind of hard to, um, because we have two conditions changing. It's not one condition. We have two conditions changing simultaneously. If we're tempted to do, let's say, to put a dash here, to say, oh, OK, well, then, but then it, it doesn't really work. We, can, we can't really do that. Because if we do put a dash here, Let's take a look. Then that would be the that would mean that the no 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 would get assigned to grade one. But hey, wait a minute. This is remember this is yes or no. No 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 is assigned to reject it. So we're we're actually changing the logic by doing that. So we can't do that. So we'll put back our Y. And si and the same thing. If we're tempted to put a dash here, let's then all of a sudden, this would be n, y, y would be assigned to grade 1. But no, 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 no. See, it's assigned to grade 2. So whenever you're tempted to actually um, to change a um, um, to change a column or to change a, uh, um, a condition to the dash so that it will accept both, make sure you check all the other columns to, to ensure that you're not actually have introducing a contradiction. And this is the this is the most simplified version that you can get it. Um, because if you change any other one, if you want to if you want to to get to get these two, for example, um, actually these two you can't because there's two. If you have two if you have two conditions changing, then then you can't. So you can try, play around with it. But uh, make sure you always check to make sure that you're not changing the logic. And this is the most simplified that we can get it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, I'll talk to you later.